Now, question number six. Trial balance prepared by Wallop is as follow. If any error lies in it, prepare a modified trial balance and give reasons for it. Okay, so let's see. Opening stock, you write debit. Sales, you write credit. Sales return, goods comes in, debit. Wages salary, debit. Bill receivable, debit. Debtors, debit. Rent, debit. Cash, debit. Creditors, credit. But here there is one important point. That is this closing stock. Now, closing stock cannot come in a trial balance where there is opening stock, purchase, sale, sales return. So here you put a cross. In closing stock, you put a cross like this. Okay. So closing stock will not come in the trial balance, okay? Now, going further, you will see some trial balance while closing stock is given. So at that time, you will not see opening stock, purchase, purchase return, uh, which is given over here, okay? Purchase, purchase return, okay? Because at that time, either cost of goods sold will be given, or adjusted purchase will be given. So your closing stock will not come in the trial balance. So you put a cross. Okay, so this is a big error over here. Capital, obviously credit, discount allowed, debit, commission received, credit, fixed asset, debit, purchase, debit purchase return credit because purchase purchase return opening stock is there we cannot have closing stock so that is why we have to remove this from the trial balance it will not come in the trial balance carriage inward debit carriage outward also debit bills payable credit and interest paid debit so bifurcate it and now come to the format Write the heading. Trial balance of Bulla. As on date is not given over here. So keep it blank. Question six, page number 239. So let's start one by one. Opening stock. So we start with opening stock. Keep the textbook in front of you. Debit 6000. Opening stock debit 6000. Sales. 86,000 credit, then sales return, 4,000 debit, wages salary, 31,000, debit, Bill receivable eight thousand. Debtors ten thousand. Rent four thousand. Cash, debit, 1800. 
creditors credit 7900 closing stock will not come so we did not write that capital 61000 credit discount allowed 1500 debit commission received 1700 credit received income fix a set Debit sixty one thousand fixed assets. Purchase forty six thousand. Purchase return goods goes out credit. Three thousand. Carriage inward. Sixteen hundred debit. Carriage outward. Seven carriage outward is seventeen hundred debit. Bills payable thirteen thousand. Thirteen thousand credit and interest pay three thousand debit. Now let's check the totals. One lakh. Seventy nine six hundred okay so now here you can see that the debit side and the credit side is not matching and there is a difference of 7000 so first thing is you need to check that whether you are correct everything you have done proper you have not made a mistake you have to be sure about it first so we check it out and i think we are absolutely correct so here there is a difference of 7000 on the credit side so this 7000 i write over here to match the total and this 7000 i record as a suspense account now what is a suspense account suspense account means there is some error and due to which your trial balance is not tallying so just to temporarily tally the trial balance you use this temporary account known as suspense account so now you are sure there are some mistakes in ledger posting or balancing so what you need to do is whenever there is suspense account we cannot rely on this books of accounts so we have to go back and find the error and then we have to rectify the error and prepare a new trial balance this is what we will see when we do the chapter rectification of errors so as of now now remember one thing uh, whenever your trial balance does not tell it does not mean there is suspense account there can be mistakes on your part also so first you look out for any mistake if there are no mistakes if everything is fine then only you use suspense account otherwise galat ho jayega exam mein okay so please be careful before using suspense account so you can see now the total matches okay so existence of suspense account means that there are some errors in writing the books of accounts so use this do the total that's it for this sum let's go to question number 7 please make the format like this 
ओके okay, इसमें हमें रीजन भी लिखना था तो यू कैन राइट रीजन ओवर योर रीजन फॉर नॉट इंक्लूडिंग क्लोजिंग स्टॉक तो योर यू राइट द रीजन क्लोजिंग स्टॉक इज टू बी टेकन एज एन एडजस्टमेंट and hence your it will not come in trial balance another reason also i'll give you because opening stock purchase and purchase return are given closing stock cannot form part of trial balance so right these two reasons okay humse ek reason manga to humne do reason liya ye likh lo now uh, in case you have not understood ki sir ye kyun aisa hai to not to worry when we will do final accounts at that time i'll explain you this concept that why closing stock generally does not come in trial balance yes it can come okay aisa nahi it cannot come but if it comes then opening stock purchase purchase return will not come okay so you'll see this concept when we go to final accounts abhi ke liye you can write reason 1 and reason 2 okay if you write reason 1 that should suffice the purpose from your chapter point of your exam point of view so please write this reasons and then go to question number 7 please make the format question number 7 very important for your exam please mark it important the trial balance of shri paresh kumar as on 313 2016 shows a difference in the total of debit and credit balance so let's check out now over here you can see there is a difference debit and credit it means outright the trial balance is not telling so kya karenge directly suspense account likh ke tally kar denge kya hum aisa kar sakte hai no hame find karna padega pehle ki yahan pe koi hamari taraf se to error nahi hai na so a certain errors and prepare a modified trial balance so we have to once again prepare a trial balance so let's go one by one capital so here this is wrong so i'll put a circle over here okay usko main arrow kar deta hu and here also i write credit stock of goods debit correct hai purchase again purchase is wrong so i put a circle it comes on the debit side so i write debit sales credit again wrong so i put a circle put a arrow over here now goods return debit means what it means it means goods are returned with a debit note and goods return credit means what ki goods are returned with a credit note so goods return debit means debit note so this will be treated as purchase return you can write over here so we debit a person and goods goes out so hence it will have a credit balance so this 1200 will come on the credit side or you can write over your credit and goods return credit means what goods return credit means goods return with a credit note yani humne kisi ko credit kiya तो व्हाट कम्स इन गुड्स कम्स इन तो उसको हम डेबिट करेंगे तो कौन सा रिटर्न हुआ ये सेल्स रिटर्न व्हिच हैज अ डेबिट बैलेंस सो दिस 6000 इज आल्सो रॉन्ग व्हिच विल कम ओवर योर डेबिट प्लीज बी केयरफुल गुड्स रिटर्न डेबिट इज परचेस रिटर्न इट हैज अ क्रेडिट बैलेंस एंड गुड्स रिटर्न क्रेडिट it means sales return it has a debit balance but you will say ki sir then debit debit credit credit nahi hona chahiye 
No. Your goods return debit means goods return with a debit note. It means we are returning goods to someone. So we are debiting someone. Goods goes out. So this goods return is goods going out. Hence it is purchase return. Okay, please be careful. This is really very important. Very important. Please mark it very important. You should know this. वेनेवर इट इज गिवन गुड्स रिटर्न डेबिट सो वन थिंग यू नो दैट गुड्स रिटर्न है बट ये कौन सा रिटर्न है परचेज रिटर्न या सेल्स रिटर्न तो दिस डेबिट मीन्स वॉट दिस मीन्स अ डेबिट नोट इट मीन्स वॉट यू आर रिटर्निंग गुड्स टू समन गुड्स आर गोइंग आउट सो यू आर डेबिटिंग समन दैट इज डेबिट द रिसीवर सो यू आर गिविंग अ डेबिट नोट सो ऑन अ पीस ऑफ पेपर यू आर राइटिंग टू योर सप्लायर that i am returning goods of rupees so and so because they were defective please acknowledge the same and i am debiting your account with rupees so and so so you are debiting a person and goods goes out that is why this is purchase return now similarly goods return credit let me write again goods return क्रेडिट इट मीन्स गुड्स आर रिटर्न विथ अ क्रेडिट नोट यानि हम किसी को क्रेडिट कर रहे हैं तो गुड्स रिटर्न हुआ तो गुड्स को हम डेबिट करेंगे तो रिटर्न डेबिट कब होगा जब किसी को हमने बेचा था वो वापस आ रहा है सो दिस इज सेल्स रिटर्न बिकॉज इट इज सेल्स रिटर्न इट इज डेबिट बैलेंस and because it is purchase return goods goes out it is credit balance please write this okay and don't make a mistake in exam goods return debit it means it is purchase return and goods return credit it means it is sales return it will also come in the chapter final accounts okay should i proceed now hello hello should i proceed now yes sir okay wages and salary debit so there is no problem advertisement expense debit so there is no problem but rent pay is debit but here it is given on the credit side so you have to remove it and write on the debit side bad debts debit no problem building debit no problem creditors credit 9000 hello sir ha huh? am um, so uh, i say kem rent paid se to je aaj to je am cash na je bar to the credit hai na account che it's not you are not by giving two effect you are giving only one account you are saying rent paid to so rent paid itle expense to so debit balance also okay so you need to know rent rent paid means cash goes out to credit no no don't see it that's way it is the expense head rent paid to rent paid tari mate mano su che if you are paying rent kharcho che so that's why it will be debit got it debtors you can see debtors again debit 
but here by mistake it is written on the credit side so we remove it from there and put it on the debit side then general reserve general reserve are part of profit hence general reserve will be credit so again it will go on the credit side you can see so many mistakes income tax drawings debit so income tax given on the credit side so mark it and arrow okay bank balance debit so no worries dividend income credit so no worries commission received credit so no worries and bill receivable debit so no worries okay so now write this and let's go one by one to the trial balance preparation of modified trial balance let's write the heading first question number 7 page number 240 trial balance of modified let me use the word modified ye modi ji se connected nahi hai okay ye modified hai okay modified nahi hai to modi ji ke jo bhakt hai okay ye modi ji se connected nahi hai ye hai modified okay to modified trial balance of shri परेश कुमार एज ऑन थर्टी वन थ्री टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन बढ़िया चल लेट्स स्टार्ट वन बाय वन वी स्टार्ट विद कैपिटल सिक्सटी सिक्स थाउजेंड ऑन द क्रेडिट साइड कैपिटल थोड़ी सी स्लो है थोड़ी सी Okay, now capital sixty six thousand, stock of goods nine thousand, purchase ninety thousand, then uh, sales credit 96000 now goods return debit we know purchase return so on the credit side 1200 goods return debit you please write in bracket purchase return okay so you know why it is credit 1200 goods return credit sales return so 6000 then wages 11400 wages and salary okay then advertisement expense 2580 then rent paid 1800 it's your expense so 1800 bad debts bad debts 1200 
बिल्डिंग फोर्टी टू थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड डेबिट क्रेडिटर्स क्रेडिट नाइन थाउजेंड सर एटी फोर हंड्रेड व्हाट एटी फोर हंड्रेड चल क्रेडिटर्स क्रेडिटर्स नाइन थाउजेंड चल डेटर्स एटी फोर हंड्रेड चल ओके ओके सर नो वरीज डेटर्स now debtors have a debit balance so debtors 8400 general reserve credit balance 5400 income tax debit 1800 बैंक बैलेंस टू एट टू जीरो डिविडेंड क्रेडिट फाइव थाउजेंड कमीशन रिसीव टेन थाउजेंड Bill receivable of set fifteen thousand. So let's check everything and then do the total. One lakh ninety two six hundred. One lakh ninety two six hundred. A tally. So total. Now uh, you also tally uh, by doing total of both the side. Okay. So that if there is a mistake, you will come to know. So go through the sum and see if you have any doubts. This is really important in this sum. Okay, it's very confusing. Like very likely, it can come in your exam. Okay, in the trial balance, this may be given to confuse you. So please be careful. Goods return debit means goods return. So you remember this word return. Return is for goods return debit means purchase return. In goods return credit means sales return. So purchase return has a credit balance. So then why debit? Because you are debiting the receiver, person who is receiving the goods back, okay, your supplier or your creditor. That's why. Same is for goods return credit. So you are crediting a person. Goods are coming in. That's why your goods return credit means with a credit note. Hence, it is sales return. So it will have a debit balance. Please be careful about this. Do the totals. <coughs> 